Hi everyone, it's Rose. I just wanted to uh, give you an update with uh, everything that's been going on and what the team has been doing. Uh, so first I wanted to thank everybody for the letters that you sent uh, for the legal opinions and to Fan and copied me on it. Um, so as of now, we have applied sufficient pressure to the court appointed counsel and are hopeful we will receive the opinions. The ultimate goal being to demonstrate that there were errors or omissions in the providing of those opinions giving rise to liability. So I don't need any more from you. Um, they work their magic, so we'll see now what happens. Um, if I look like I'm reading from my notes, I actually am, so you'll have to bear with me through this. This is going to be a little bit of a lengthy update, okay? Thank you. Now for an update on where we stand with the class action lawsuit. So in total, six projects were the focus of the initial investigation, King City the Eden, Sky City, Colliers, Charlotte Adelaide, and Brookdale. The investor that has funded the cost of the initial investigation has received the reports. In order to maintain confidentiality, um, these reports uh, can only be provided on the basis of common interest and litigation privilege. So uh, if anyone has any questions about that, you can give me a call directly or email me, okay? So from the investigation, the identified projects all appear to have been profitable and none of the projects should have failed, let alone failed so badly that the syndicated mortgage investors were not paid. In order to establish the facts behind the failure of the projects, uh, emails, financial statements, uh, for each of the projects would be required. This would establish if Fortress was responsible for the failure of the projects and if assets from one project were used to finance other projects in a pyramid type scheme, resulting in the failure of later projects. Third parties have been flagged for further investigation. Given the very tight control over internal communications with Fortress Management, we've been advised that this type of documentation is usually produced during discovery and it's unlikely that the team will have access prior to that step. Uh, the key parties identified are Fortress, project owners slash corporations, key personnel, auditors, trustees, developers, appraisal and evaluators, MGAs and brokers, agents, and law firms. So it's the view of the team that the conduct of the trustee, the corporations, the directors and officers of those corporations, brokers, lend itself to a good case to advance a class action. The first two projects that are of interest uh, to pursue initially uh, would be Sky City and Colliers. Um, so currently the team is in discussion with uh, law firms and litigation funders. The normal process to get feedback on this is approximately three months or longer. Unfortunately, with the current state of Ontario and the effects of the virus, the courts are shut down, firms are shut down, um, thus the timeline is definitely going to delay. We're now in a wait and hold pattern. Uh, we still have a long way to go, but we've made some progress in this area, so that's a good thing. Uh, Daryl, Bruce, and Dave, along with their internal teams, have done a great job at identifying the parties, reviewing the documents, sorting through this mess uh, to put together the investigative reports for consideration by law firms and litigation funders, um, and now are taking it to the next level. So... Um, Please keep in mind that there's a lot to these reports and it's absolutely impossible for me to do it justice in the updates, but I can tell you that the work has been extensive and it's been very lengthy. That being said, this is not going to be uh, an overnight fix. Um, these cases have their own process to follow and it will take time and a lot of work. Uh, we will need to be patient and hope that in the end, uh, our case our case ends in the best interest of all investors. 
Please remember the goal of the process here is to have responsible parties pay back investors, make you whole, that's it. It's not a criminal case. I know many people out there um, have talked to me about criminal charges, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, we would love to see that happen, but um, that's not the goal or the focus here, okay? Um, so as always, I'm happy to answer any questions you have, but please keep in mind, uh, if you'd like anything more about the reports that the investor has received, unfortunately, uh, we can't share that information at this time with you. Anything else, I'm more than happy to discuss. Um, the other thing that I would just like to point out to people is um, lately I've been receiving calls or emails looking for information that's already available for you on the VOSME site or available um, on Facebook. So if I don't get back to you, it's because that information you can collect in those locations. And as you can imagine, I get inundated with calls, so I can only, um, I can't always answer the ones that the information is readily available. So I'm sorry for that. Um, but hopefully you can understand. Okay, so my last update is about the money. So right now the initial, sorry, the investor who put up the initial funds of 50,000 has spent $32,000 of that amount. To date, the Vosme Group has uh, contributed, uh, as of current today, $12,550. That is super fantastic, guys. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, and I hope that as we progress through this, we can reach out to other investors uh, and they will help contribute to that uh, amount of $18,000 is the difference and uh, help mitigate the loss to that investor. Because if we share it across many, a little bit from each of us goes a long way as opposed to one person uh, bearing the brunt of that remaining $18,000. So um, that's all I have to say on that. And if anyone has any questions, you can always reach me. You know that my information is posted. Always look at the VOSME site for updates or past posts on Facebook. Um, again, if you have any other questions that are not related to these reports or information that's out there, I'm more than happy to to do what I can and uh, just practice your social distancing. We're just gonna have to wait it out now and see how things go and when life sort of returns back to normal. And I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to these videos and make it a great day. Thanks everyone.